Alright guys, so the Manchester United v Arsenal game has just finished and I'm going to review it. I've got a friend here though to introduce to you guys. This is Josh right here. Hey. He's watched the game with me. He's going to just discuss, you know, what happened during the game and what what was good and what was bad with Arsenal and their performance. The final score was 2-1, which was really flattering, you know, after United pretty much dominated us for the whole 90 minutes. What did you reckon? Yeah, I reckon I've seen better games done by Arsenal, I reckon. Um, yeah, Man United you know, just outplayed them heaps. And uh, Arsenal were just, they, they just took a long time to get into a rhythm, I reckon. S second half was a bit better, though. Yeah, Got a little bit. urgency. The first half was pretty slow. Most of the Arsenal supporters would agree that Ramsey on the wing is a pretty bad choice, but after Walcott played 120 minutes or so in the Capital One Cup match, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, he had to be rested, but we all thought once he came on with a bit of pace, something would have happened, but nothing really happened. He doesn't really have the strength around the ball. As soon as he got it, I don't know who, who was on him, Evra or someone would just nudge him off it and then turn the ball over. Van Persie scored the first goal in the third minute after, I think it was a um, Raphael cross and then Vermaelen. The current captain freaked out, didn't clear the ball, and the ex-captain gets the ball, takes a shot on his right foot, I think it was just outside the box, something like that. Manoni had no chance, and it was 1-0 straight away. And as soon as that happened, I knew we were going to be in for a really long game. Yeah, kudos. Good shot, though. It was a good shot. It was a good game. shot, but it never really should have happened. I mean, Vermaelen should have cleared it. He didn't, and with a you know, guy as good as Van Persie is, he's a clinical finisher, one of the best in the world. Not Maybe, maybe the best in the world. He's going to take his chance. Rooney got a penalty, missed it. Shrek missed his penalty, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, the footy gods were kind. I don't think yeah. they were. Maybe it sh I, I don't know what the rule is like with the hands. Handball. It looked like he was trying to block, block it yeah. uh, from from the ball hitting is his it head. Uh, is a deliberate handball or? Yeah, it looked like it was. I mean, I've seen handballs where they've clearly just put their hand out to block it, but Kozola, the ball was going to hit him in the face anyway, so it's not like he blocked a clear cut chance or anything like that. It would have been. You know, out for a corner or something like that, but yeah, we can't be sure how it would have deflected. Like, yeah, where, I mean, where it would have, yeah, gone I mean, in the same direction. When you've got all these Man United supporters cheering and everything, might have a bit of an influence, but he missed it anyway, so it doesn't really count. Shrek missed the penalty, kept us in the game. I thought, you know, they had a few chances here in the Valencia earlier in the first, uh, in the second half. Missed a really easy chance when Van Persie whipped it in. Oh yeah, he's trying that to be tricky. That put him two uh, up. They really did arrogant. need, yeah, they really did need the second goal to kind of just get comfortable. They didn't get it for a while, until the sixty seventh minute, I think it was, yeah. Something like that. When they had a corner, Rooney and then crossed it in, and Evera, Evera, out of all <laughs> people, the guy, one of the shortest guys in the Man United, Man United lineup, gets a header against Murdersacker and Vermaelen, guys that are much bigger and much taller than him. Defensively, we were pretty weak. This should never have happened. I don't know. He's just everywhere. Yeah, he's he's just <laughs> er everywhere. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just ignore that guy. Yeah, that put them two up. Made them really comfortable. Now, that kind of ruled out any big chance of us getting a win. You know, even stealing a draw. Um, soon after that, Wilshire gets his second yellow, and he gets sent off. It was fair enough. He stomped on Evera after his first yellow, and this kind of brings up the question, the commentators were talking about it, after Cleverly got his first yellow and almost got a red on the edge of the box after giving away another silly foul, Sir Alex Ferguson took him off and saved him, so he couldn't get a red, and the same thing happened with Wilshire, except he wasn't taken off, so do you guys comment down below, do you think that Arsene Wenger did the right thing in keeping him on and, you know, trying to, you know, using him as a key player to get us back into the game, or he should have taken him off knowing we probably weren't going to win and it was going to be a waste, you know, to give him a chance of getting another another yellow card and sent off, as as it happened, anyway. Not much really happened after that. We seem to have, we seem to have played better with the red card, I thought, I don't know. We seem more dangerous. Yeah. You reckon? No, I, I reckon so. Yeah, um, it, it, it sort of... It was a turning point in the game. Once Wilshire was um, was out and he yeah. got the red card, um, well, you didn't have to rely on him. He was he was making a lot of good moves, but without him anymore, other players needed to make their own sort of moves to, to yeah, create it, chances. So they got a bit of a kick up the butt. It kind of forced the other players to realize that well, 
wear a man down. That means I have to work more and it kind of just meant that we were running more and passing more and it was just better combinations in the play but when he was there no one was really doing anything. We were just casual passing around like we were 3-0 up but we were 2-0 down and we need more urgency. That's the real, you know, the real difference in the two teams. The Man United, even though they were 2-0 up, they just kept trying to score and kept trying to make chances and we didn't do that. We were just too slow and we all thought with Walcott coming on, something amazing was going to happen after what happened a couple of days ago. Yeah, the but commentators gave him such a build-up as yeah, well, but and no, no change at all when he came nah, on, really. No change at all. Like I said, he doesn't have the strength. Giroud was good. Podolski, what the hell? We we spent a fair bit of money on him. He was good early, and he didn't, he didn't do anything yeah, for a, a German all. international. You expect a bit more from him. I don't know. If, what do you guys think? Should he play on the left? He's a good striker as well. Giroud's there, so you can't really do anything. He has to play as the central striker. He's got no other position. Or do we just keep him on the bench more play Podolski, you know, up front and Walcott and, I don't know, maybe Kazor on the left or something like that. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? I thought Murtisaka was clearly our best player. Yeah. And Manoni, a few really critical saves. Murtisaka was getting in the right positions. Vermaelen was pretty shocking. Santos was a bit better. Sanya was alright, Kazola kicked a good goal in the 94th minute, brought, it, brought us back to 2-1, basically with the last kick of the game. But yeah, Man United dominated us, Rooney did whatever he wanted, Van Persie, mm. as much as it hurts me, he's just such a good striker. So many times he'd set up a few chances or he would create a chance by getting into, the, you know, getting into space at the right time and beating the offside trap. And uh, If it wasn't for a couple of times he was offside... Uh, it would have been game over been pretty early, yeah. yeah. And this just shows that we're pretty far off the pace. I don't know, do we, is it the lineup? Is it is it tactics? Is it our formation? What do you guys think is the real problem? And who would you like us to buy in the you know January transfer window? Do we need another clinical striker like a Van Persie? Or should we just stick with what we got and just you know see how it goes? Well, well that's it guys. That's our review, Jake and Josh. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like the video below. Subscribe above. I'm going to have my next review out in the middle of the week when we play Schalke in the Champions League. Hopefully we get a win there. It's going to be very difficult. And comment below and tell me what you think of the game. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Ciao.